hello everyone thank you for stopping on my channel in this video we are going to start a new project this is going to be a portfolio project and for the template we are going to use um, this template created by this person and this is the github repository for that so what we are going to do is this is um, simple customized template created by like this person a portfolio so we are going to just uh, make it dynamic so here you can see they have um, like created or added some static posts or projects that this person has done so far and if I come here you can see they have the HTML files here so what we are going to do is we are going to make the Laravel version uh, and a dynamic version of this project so probably this is a really amazing project so if you come here to the page definitely going to give it a star and we are gonna make it dynamic and this is gonna be like contribution to the open source projects uh we're not gonna contribute to this repo instead like this is a personal like portfolio website right so they might not uh, gonna like make it dynamic this way but here you can see they have about page i'm gonna open that um this is the about page and then we have the projects photos and contact pages and they have some links so we're gonna make it uh, dynamic uh, each and everything and the settings as well like the name and the who created this definitely we're gonna uh, like make these things dynamic as well so this is gonna be like pretty simple project and uh, we're gonna create this way a lot of it and we're gonna we can use inner show for this as well so let's just uh, go ahead and create a new Laravel project so here I am I'm gonna uh, use composer create dash project laravel dash laravel and let's call it laravel portfolio and i think we can use underscore not dash in the name so i'm going to use that and let's wait for that to complete and till that we can check the website so uh, i think here this is the project page so uh, what we are going to do is whenever you come here we're going to list all the available projects you have done so far and like you can maybe like there are two possibilities with this either you can install the project and uh, and make the settings from the admin side and another possibility is that uh, you can like there will be a central administration system and on the other side there will be like uh, you can create an account and then you can like on for your own for your own account you can uh, like create the uh, portfolio you will have settings and then we will create a separate page for your name like um, let's say you you have a specific username let's say to see zaman so if i visit my website zaman and if i visit my website fasting dash and then my username it's going to display my portfolio so these are the two possibilities that we can implement and i'm going to go with the one that like you can install this for your specific portfolio so uh, that is what we are going to do so let's okay there is an error uh, laravel dash laravel not uh, slash laravel not dash laravel so let's wait for this to complete and then we will carry on from there and i think till that we can create a copy of uh, the github repo so i'm going to go ahead and uh, create another directory for that or let's go to that directory laravel and i'm going to clone this repository so we to clone testing the url okay so the laravel project is uh, in, installed and this is still loading still downloading the images because they have um, high quality images you can see here on the on the on this page so what we are going to do is we are going to configure the laravel application so i'm going to go ahead and uh, move to that open that in vs code And we can create uh, the database tables and those things. So let's check this. Uh, gonna open the env file. Let's uh, let's name it uh, portfolio. Uh, change the url to 127.0.0.1 colon and thousand port 
database name is going to be port folio e with the small case chanapur gira tu aaya bekar gayi okay so that is it now let's uh, think about the database structure so one thing as we are going to create a, a settings table and then we will have a table for projects and then they have the about page so we are going to create a, we can we can create a table mi migration for that as well designing the we can add these things dynamics as well like uh, your degree and the achievements and then we have text talk so maybe we can create a table for that like you just provide um, the icon and the name of the technology maybe we can provide a link to their technology as well and then contacts this is going to be in the settings table so you don't have to worry about that uh, photos uh, this is going to be like the project photos so uh, you, you can see on this page so we can we will create a, a table for that as well this is not required uh, i think the main uh, part is the projects and demos and things like that this is going to be like dynamic the photos are also going to be dynamic from the settings table and uh, mm, i think that is all the whole thing in this projects so let's uh, go ahead and create the table so let's create a settings table migrations php addition make migration or model and then let's say setting pass the take implet to create a migration we can pass seeder so we're gonna see the data and one for the uh, projects projects uh, a, pro a project model and seeder and table and one for um, tech stock so we can call it stock or tech stock you can see on this page right here tech stock so tech stock and then for the about maybe we can add the these things dynamic but we can like create this page via the cke editor or those kind of editors as well but i think we can um, create a table for this as it's a simple and like simple project so we can uh, customize we can add customized stuff as we need as we want or something so we created in images no so let's create one for images maybe we can call it tech images but they have called it images so uh, image and this is not going to be just an image maybe we can provide an, a url and things like that uh, they have provided a link from the home page you can see but this is kind of a separate host so yeah let's create that uh, or we can let's create that not problem so now that is created let's move on uh, and also the the template is also cloned so we will use that as a template to like we will integrate that in our project okay so this is all for this video we are going to move on from here and integrate and add the imported fields to these migrations and then we will make them fillable so that will be for the next video thank you for watching